It is the 21st of the 1st, 2012, and this is tonight's climate change updates. Well, let's go ahead and start on SOT.net. Got a lot going on. Australia, storm strikes coast. People, houses hit by lightning. Four people have been struck by lightning and thousands are with, without power as dangerous weather seeps Perth and the outer metropolitan coast. The state of emergency service has warned people to stay safe as the storm sweeps through Perth and the coast. A uh, man was hit by lightning. Da 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 da. They're saying none of the lightning victims have life threatening injuries, but it was one heck of a storm. Iran quake leaves at least 230 people injured. Iran State TV says the number of people injured by Thursday's earthquake of moderate strength affecting the northeastern city uh, has increased to, to around 230. Uh, magnitude 5.5 earthquake and some 75 aftershocks. Uh, Nevada, Reno brush fire stopped after charring 20 houses. A brush fire fueled by 82 mile an hour winds uh, burned more than 20 homes Thursday and forced thousands of people to evacuate their neighborhoods before firefighters stopped the flame surge towards Reno, Nevada. Uh, about 2,000 people remained under evacuation orders late Thursday as 250 fire firefighters battled the blaze. Uh, the fire of unknown origin broke out shortly after noon in a valley along the U.S. Highway 395. Uh, soon more than 10,000 people were told to flee their homes. Uh, here's a crazy story. TEPCO drills a hole in Fukushima Reactor No. 2, finds that nuclear fuel has gone missing. Uh, well, they got a story up. Uh, they noted last month in connection with TEPCO's announcement of cold shutdown of the Fukushima reactors. If the reactors are cold, it may be because most of the hot reactive fuel has leaked out. And again, they drilled a hole in number two. Uh, they saw a bunch of steam and moisture in there, and they can't find the fuel for some reason. Um, they say they can't inspect uh, one and three because uh, they can't find the pipe to insert the uh, camera into kind of thing and uh, they have no idea where the fuel is and the water's gone out of two and uh, all kinds of crazy stuff going on I will cover later on E&E News. Uh, we got an earth detected solar flare, uh, M3 class solar flare so detect some auroras in the in the latitudes. Uh, storm brings snow to Sierra Desert in Africa. Snow fell Tuesday in Sierra Desert in western Algeria. A 24-hour cold spell brought snow and rain to the region. Strong wind blew the snow across roads and buildings in the province of uh, Bekar. And uh, the, they got a video on this, basically a news report, saying that the, the, the snow was good for the fungus on the, um, on the palm trees and that kind of thing. It's just crazy weather that you don't really hear about. Uh... Power out snowfall, rec snowfall records smashed in Seattle, Washington. A historic snow and ice storm paralyzed Seattle on Thursday, shutting the airport and schools, causing car crashes, downing trees, and cutting power to at least 90,000 homes as blown out transformers lit up the skies. The National Weather Service declared an ice storm warning early on Thursday through noon local time for eight western Washington counties. Uh, the record-setting daily snowfall of 6.8 inches measured early Thursday at Seattle-Tacoma International Airport, shattering the previous record of 2.9 inches in 1954. Thousands without power, state of emergency declared, uh, state of Washington, of course, and that's with the power outages and the bad storm going on. Uh, and of course they're going on with the strange noises and I will leave that up to you to decide. Over to the extinction protocol, what they've got going on new or different is increased activity at volcanoes in Guatemala. Fuego volcano produced explosions observed on the 11th and 13th and on the 16th of January, which produced ash plumes rising 400 to 1,000 meters above the crater. Um, Seeing there's several volcanoes uh, ongoing. 
and of course the the other stories going on right now along with the economy and the the war drums rattling of course uh, over to the watchers and they've got some pretty crazy stories uh, they basically uh, they got a story globe at night for citizen scientists and uh, they're doing a light pollution study as far as uh, it's really hard. Uh, light pollution not only threatens our right, our right to starlight but also affects our energy consumption, wildlife and health that goes on and on. Amazon rainforest may be changing by human impacts on the region's weather and they're seeing how the deforestation is changing the weather patterns over these, the Amazon basin. Tropical Cyclone Funzo, threat off of Southeast Africa. Tropical Cyclone Ethel forms in South Indian Ocean. I got a, a new tropical cyclone named Funzo, F U N S O, is forming between Mozambique and the island of Madagascar. A tropical depressant has already landed on the southern Mozambique near Maputo, triggering local flooding in the, uh, at the start of the week. Moreover, torrential rain in the northern Mozambique has related to uh, present tropical low. So you got a couple of cyclones gearing up. And that's about all new. They, oh, wait, wait, wait. While people are eating radioactive food, TEPCO claims materials that, that scattered from Fukushima belongs to individual landowners. While TEPCO, the owner of Fukushima nuclear plant, claims radioactive materials that scattered and fell from Fukushima No. 1 nuclear power plant belong to individual landowners. Uh, there, local residents are ingesting radioactive food, but wait, new studies suggest that they are not in danger. Fukushima people eating more cesium, but not in danger, says study. Ah, uh, just insane. A 5.8 earthquake shook Lower South Island in New Zealand, and that was south of the island, of course. Got some, uh, uh I got another on El, El Euro. A lava balloon spotted in new location, so we have a new vent opening up. Uh, they have a video on that, of course. Uh, where is it? Where is it? They got uh, lava balloon spotters. They're asking for uh, to confirm that this would be the new location to look at, um, and it's just a few hundred yards off the the other jacuzzi they they've got here. Uh, but definitely got another plume starting up. Over to the RSOE, they have a bunch going on today, so I'm just going to cover it quick. Got a forest fire in Nevada and the Washu Valley. Uh, flooding in South Africa, um, extreme weather in Mozambique, of course the snowstorms in the Pacific Northwest, um, snowstorms in Michigan, Illinois, power outages in the state of Washington, that was pretty severe of course. Uh, Flash flooding in Malaysia, tornado in New South Wales, uh, Breadbow, Australia, um, got a crazy nuclear event in Egypt. They are saying that uh, nuclear material has gone missing uh, out after protesters broke into the plant that hasn't opened yet, and uh, material boxes were damaged and opened, and um, actual radioactive material is missing. Uh, more extreme weather reports out of Australia, uh, flooding in Washington, of course, state, and uh, the earthquake in Iran, volcano activity in Costa Rica. Over to the nuclear stuff, uh, Fukushima worker, too much liquid dripping inside reactor to be evaporated water. Something must be open from damage. Yeah, down on the floor where all the, the fuel disappeared to. Two shallow quakes hit Fukushima one hour apart, magnitude 3.8, followed by a 3.7, and that uh, continues. Plutonium detected under 70 miles from Tokyo, uh, the government's reporting, and uh, there are no safe levels for plutonium. 
Uh, reporter measures radiation five times higher than government officials. Same time, same location, device maxed out at 20 microsieverts per hour. And of course the lies continue that are coming out of the Japanese government. TEPCO backpedals on number two water level. Possibly 2.8 meters of water inside reactor. Uh, had been claiming much higher. Now just quite unlikely fuel is exposed. We know it's exposed. It's been exposed. Uh, they plugged it up and they're not supposed to check it back again until 2017, if you can believe that. Uh, melted nuclear fuel heat caused water to rain down inside reactor number two, question mark. And iodine-131 detected in Tokyo snow on January 20th. The fallout continues. Um, yeah, mark your calendars. Next survey inside reactor number two containment vessels set for 2017. And, uh, yeah, it just goes on and on and on. And, uh... TEPCO... Uh, doubted own projections failed to detect any coolant water in reactor number two. Not surprised they were incorrect. You got to remember they're not really uh, measuring the levels here. They're all simulations from the Westinghouse simulations, simulators, uh, and they are guessing. And they are guessing. And it is out of control and they don't know what's going on. And I want to end tonight with a YouTube video you must watch. It, the title of the video is, You Won't Hear This on Any Mainstream News. Nuclear Fallout. And uh, it's brought up by a channel called uh, Rules of Ethics. Uh, I will attach a link to that below, of course. And um, definitely something to watch and eye-opening. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Um, thanks for all your support.